Charlie Murray and welcome back to the Smuggler in the Blind, episode 6. Last time we met Risha, who was on our side instead of Skavik's side, most likely because she wants to be on the side of whoever has the ship. But, you know. And she has a bunch of stuff which can apparently make us a fortune if we give it to the right buyer. So, we will do that in a moment. But first, Corso needs to speak to us. Hello, Corso. So, how'd you end up out here, Captain? Was there ever a time you wanted something more... normal? A family? A steady job somewhere you didn't need a blaster in hand? I've got my freedom, my ship, and my gun. What more is there? I've just been thinking about a guy I met in the brigade. Uh -huh. a mercenary. He'd been fighting for the Republic for 20 years. I was 16, fresh off the ship. This guy gave me my first blaster. Nervous! What kind of moron gives a blaster to some kid on a community service project? It was a war zone. I was the crazy one, going unarmed. I was just squeamish. I mean, sure, I'd handled a hunting rifle, but never anything aimed at people. This guy told me, gun's just a tool. You use it to destroy, or you use it to protect against those who would destroy you. If you're in my crew, you shoot when I tell you. You'll know the first time I stop being okay with that. Oh, ho And we've already witnessed that, haven't we? With, uh, you know, what? Well, ooh, we gained some influence. Hooray, Corso. Boy, Captain. Life with you is almost enough to get me missing the good old days. Ah, for Ord Mantel. Where separatists were bad and guns were good and we could just run in shooting. Are you drunk? Just tipsy. I can still bullseye an Imperial soldier at a thousand paces. Why don't we have more fun on this ship? Back home when we needed a laugh, we used to run the Rontos in circles, then see if they could charge us without falling over. Good night, Corso. <laughs> Maybe I should go lie down. Maybe you should. Go lie down, Corso. That doesn't look like you're lying down, but nevertheless. Anyway, we need to make our way to Taris now, because of course it's the opposite of, um... Balmora for the Imperial I'm Trying to figure out what's what's the opposite of Balmora of of, of Taris? It's Balmora, huh? Yeah, and then of course it's, it flips the way, it flips around in like is it chapter two? Was it chapter three? Oh, I think it's chapter two. Um, but anyway, and now we need to go to speak to Risha. But why am I moving? It does it automatically. Ah, Taris. Did oh my God, there's two of them. Biggest. Okay. <laughs> I had to uh had to quit that one cuz that would have looked weird. Ah, uh, Taris. Did you know you've just landed on the biggest graveyard in the galaxy? There's not much to enjoy here besides skeletons, ruins, and man-eating creatures. Well, okay then. It's the perfect romantic getaway, sweetheart. Don't flatter yourself, flyboy. And for the record, I prefer my cities intact. Taris was the Coruscant of the Outer Rim, until some lunatic leveled it centuries ago. Now it's a toxic swamp. We're here for an astrogation chart that was in a vault when Taris fell. That vault's somewhere in these ruins. How do you know the vault still exists? It was built to withstand anything short of a supernova. Our lost vault was designed to be recovered after a major catastrophe. All we need are the right sensors to locate it. The catch is, the only person I know with access to those sensors is someone who hates me. Of course. Well, who else has access to the sensors? We don't have time to find out. But luckily, we don't have to. I made our contact an irresistible offer. One of the deal's terms is that she doesn't have to see me. I need you to get that vault's location, Captain. Impress the stars out of her. I'll do whatever it takes. I'm sure you will. You seem like her type of man. I should also warn you. Skavik knows about the vault. We can't let him catch up. As if I'm gonna let him. I'm curious how you know what Skavik's up to. He wasted a lot of breath trying to impress me into his bunk. It never worked, but I learned a lot about his plans. The astrogation chart in that vault is essential to finding Nocdrain's riches, Captain. Your contact name is Beryl Thorn. When Beryl gives you the vault's location, come back and see me. Oh, and try not to let anything eat you. And then, what, what about me, Risha? Is, is, would you be interested in, uh... Staying with me? Risha. Risha. And what does she mean, hopefully nothing eats me? I mean, 
What? What? Are there rat ghouls on this planet or something? <laughs> oh. 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 Now there's C2N2. Well, go away. I don't care. I was wondering where you were in the previous episode, but you... Oh, thanks. Thanks, C2N2. You brought me all the way back here. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Ah, this music. Really reminds me of playing KOTOR. And again, Taris is a KOTOR planet. I'm Agent Saganti with the Republic Customs Office. What brings you to my planet, Captain? What's your job? Showing me how to shake hands with the natives? Hard to believe a spacer like you never encountered Republic Customs before. W Republic well, Customs well. Office monitors all starship traffic and ensures no illegal goods are transported on or off this planet. There's a lot of contraband making its way around Taurus. If you see Taurus. anything suspicious, I suggest you report it immediately. Why so much illegal activity around here? Lots of nice things are still buried in the ruins of old Taurus. Taurus. This planet is one big party for grave robbers and scavengers. I take a special interest in every new arrival to my planet, Captain. Keep your nose clean and we won't have any trouble. Clear? Do you give this speech to everyone? Just the ones I think need to hear it. Oh, well, okay. Enjoy your nice. visit to Taurus. Taurus. And I keep saying Taurus every time he says it. Only because I don't like the way he say it, says it. It's Taurus, not Taurus. Again, I guess it depends on how you've been brought up. Or how they said it in the voice acting booth. But come on! Everybody knows it's pronounced Taris. It's like some of the names of Pokemon. It's like, I've always thought it was Zapdos when I was a kid. And then I realized when I watched the Pokemon movie 2000, it's actually pronounced Zapdos. Uh, which I thought was weird because there's no E at the uh, end of Zapdos, but whatever. Um, and then you got Moltres. I used to call it Moltres. Um, and apparently it's pronounced Moltres. Oh. Huh? And then Articuno. Articuno is pronounced Articuno. Um, so that's the same. Um, what other Pokemon? Ratata, I always used to say, but apparently it's Rattata. Apparently. I, it's... Why can't people just agree? Why can't people just agree on what it's supposed to be? Now I'm going to meet with Barrel Thorn. Barrel Thorn, hello, hello, hello. Where are you? You up the stairs? I believe you are. And up these steps. And hel 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 hello. Hello. Argo, you're leaking oil again. You want to set this whole warehouse on fire? The Maker said it is better to burn out than rust away. Perhaps I'm testing that wisdom, mistress. I'm looking for Beryl Thorn. We both have the same skull! Yeah, that's me. Argo's what passes for my second in command. I recognize you from Risha's Holo. Let's get one thing straight. The only reason I agreed to help is because my contract supplying the terrorist reclamation project is at risk. Looked like easy credits. Turns out Terrace is anything but easy. There are lots of interesting ways to die. Why don't you just leave? Can't afford to. Not yet. If I don't finish my contract, I don't get paid. Tired all my partner died on a supply run. Put me in a real bind. I'll find that vault, but I have to finish my contract to do it. You work for me, and I'll work for you. Deal? I wasn't aware this was a negotiation. You can always wander around and hope you bump into the vault by accident. I only have two deliveries left. Soon as you handle them both, we'll find your vault. The first job's for a Republic scientist named Vernon. He's got a research camp in Rackgold territory. What exactly am I delivering? Some kind of sensor equipment. Don't know what it's for. Probably to... I'll start working on your job while you handle mine. Isn't cooperation grand? Probably to track Rackgolds. It's just a guess. Oh, hello again! Hello again, Captain. I didn't know you and Thorne were acquainted. Agent Saganti. What a lovely surprise. It's only been a day since your last inquis- I mean, inspection. Har har! Don't you Republic Customs boys have better things to do than turn my warehouse upside down again? I can inspect this warehouse whenever I want. It's the law. Take Dr. Vernon's delivery, Captain. There's no reason for you to stick around. What kind of man would I be if I left you alone with this guy? A smart man. I can take care of myself. But thanks. Poke around the warehouse all you want, Agent. You won't find anything out of order. <sighs> what did I just step in, Thorn? My apologies, sir. I believe that is my hydraulic fluid. Oh. Ooh, lovely. I mean, I guess it's not too bad considering it's come from a droid. Um, but when they have a personality, like, like, like he does, 
it, it is a bit weird. It is a, a, a little bit weird. Um, I'm going to get my heroic moment now because I'm level 15. I will take my heroic moment. Thank you very much. And I'll put that there. And bravado. Increases maximum energy by 10. Awesome. That is sweet. Do I not do anything for this either? I get that at level 16 and that at level 17. So close. Very, very close. Where are we going? Going straight ahead. On the plus side, at least the rat gores can't shoot stuff at me. So I can run away from them all I want and they won't even knock me off. So apparently the area I need to go is over here somewhere. Wherever Dr. Verdon is, he's hiding. Of course he's hiding. They always hide from me. They're always afraid of me. Every single person is afraid of me. Or they will be. Also, I'm thinking maybe in terms of um, smuggling the blind, how I'll... Um, do it maybe is push down one two and three at the same time and then see when I take my fingers off the one two and three keys see what button is pressed then so <laughs> that'll be interesting just to, uh, you know because then I won't be choosing one two three it'll literally be random it will you know just be I guess whichever finger has the most pressure applied to it so Dear Adeli I regret that your husband was killed yesterday by rat ghouls Please accept my condolences. Dr. Soylan was an excellent scientist. I've never composed a death notice before. How did that sound? Eh. Uh. The Deer and Dolly part was pretty good. I thought a personal touch was warranted under the circumstances. Ah, I recognize the symbols on that container. My bio alarms have finally arrived. Good, good. If only this had arrived in time to save my associates. Whoa, Corso! Not your fault, certainly. We knew the risk of studying Rakuls. How did you manage to survive by yourself? I do seem to have beaten the odds. Perhaps there's something about me these creatures don't like. My colleagues and I were studying the Rakuls' behavior, hoping to find a means of containing them. We can't afford to let the Rakuls impede our progress. The Republic's rebuilding efforts on Terrace are paramount to future prosperity. What's so important about Terrace? This was a wonderful planet before the Sith destroyed it. The Republic must rebuild, and show that Sith aggression will not stand. I've isolated an identifying element in the Rakul's physiology, making it possible to detect and track their movements. The bio-alarms you brought will reveal how the creatures hunt. However, installing them will be a challenge with all my assistants dead. Consider them installed, Doc. How hard can it be? Um... Indeed. All that's required are quick feet, basic technical know-how, and raw nerve. Things I see you possess in abundance. Place a bio-alarm at each survey station we've established, and I'll see you're amply rewarded. Amply rewarded is my middle name. Your parents must have been fascinating people. <laughs> what? Come back when you're done, and we'll celebrate your success. Normally, I'd ask for your next of kin's hollow frequency. But I'd rather maintain some optimism. Good luck. I mean, I I get, I get, I get, I get that you care, sort of. But I I would kind of like you to take my hollow frequency because um. You got a plan for making us even richer, right? Yeah, that. Cause then I can fake my own death. You know, um, <laughs> and then I guess claim any money that may be to my name on sort of, some sort of life insurance. That I may take out. I don't know. I mean, in the game, not in real life. I don't even have life insurance. I tried to, um, but they were like, "Sorry, we are not going to accept you." Am I too young? Am I too young at 23 to to get life insurance? I mean, maybe. I mean, there's nothing wrong with me. I just thought, well, I'll get life insurance. But nah, they were like, "No, we don't want you." I pro I could probably get health insurance at whatever age, but life insurance, no. Oh, hello. Young next oh god I've got hiccups. It's always the worst thing when you have hiccups. Do you know I always I always hate it when I have hiccups, right? And I always have to hold my breath and what whatnot to try and get rid of the hiccups. And then when they're gone, I'm all like, Huh, I actually miss those hiccups that I've just gotten rid of. Am I the only one that thinks that? <laughs> I seriously do. I want to install here, hopefully without being seen by the rat girls. Damn it. I think if I had actually not moved forward a little bit, I probably could have got away with that, but... Better? Sally not. No, not really. We're being attacked by bloody rat ghouls! That can bloody kill us! Just by scratching us! Technically, they would have killed us. 
um, because they all that's just the way they attack, they scratch and I lose health so technically I would be infected with the Rat Girl Plague so I should technically be dying right now but oh well wait recently infected oh great so I am infected hooray but not that kind of infected where um well I'll die at the end of it the sort of infected where oh god they're everywhere oh god 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 um the sort of infected where 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 you just heal after a small period of time nice rackles don't see me rackle oh no do you see what you've done now rackles and the last one once they get in range done return to doc oh okay can I quick travel over there? No. Great. I'm gonna actually walk there. That's a different sort of cantina. I haven't seen the sort of cantina before. Oh, what's upstairs? Oh, absolutely nothing. Yeah, this is this is a lot different from what I've what I generally see in the game. I've actually never been in this cantina. I don't think it's quite snazzy. You know, sometimes I can't tell if it's the creaking that's making the music or if it's actual music. Okay, it is actual music, but sometimes I'm literally just hearing creaking and I'm thinking like, Oh, music's starting. Okay. Nope, just creaking. Hello, I have returned. Splendid work. I'm already receiving data transmissions from the bio-alarms. You've done the Republic's rebuilding effort a tremendous favor. Those raccoons are no trouble at all. Thanks to you, the Republic's reclamation teams will soon be saying the same thing. What you've done most definitely calls for generous compensation. Good show. Best of luck to you. Soon, we'll know how to contain the rat ghouls. From there, eradication of these beasts will quickly follow. Accept these credits with my extreme gratitude. Oh, thank you. I'll begin collating my data. Thank you again for everything. I kind of feel like doing one, two, or three. I feel like one keeps being pressed because it just seems the generic. Yes, I'll help you. Thank you for your time. That sounds great. It's good to know you. That one always seems to be that for some reason. Um, also, that definitely needs to be moved. Why is that there? Hmm. Don't think. I'd... Oh, of course it's in the blind, so it's slightly different from my uh, from my Codfi one. Yes, yes. We'll move that there. Did I just hear something? I think I might. Have... I think my neighbors are doing something. <laughs> yeah, my neighbors are doing something. Anyway, holocom. Hey, Captain. How are things out there? Eh. Yeah. That crazy Republic scientist got his gear. Glad to hear it. That's one down, one to go. I finally located the other supplies you need to deliver. They were lost when Tyrodal got killed by the Rackles. A Republic patrol found the supplies with Tyrodal's remains, dropped everything off at an outpost near the lake. I guess the Rackles didn't leave much of him behind. Just bloody clothes. The Rackles turned Tyrodal into one of them. Ugh, I try not to think about it. All you have to do is swing by the outpost, grab the supplies, and take them to an engineer named Ovold. Ovold will give you some planetary core samples to bring back to me. Got it? What do you mean with planetary core samples? I have to transport them to Coruscant as part of my contract. It's a science thing. Grab the supplies from the outpost, get them to Ovold, and return to me with his core samples. Good luck. I thought you were going to be like, return to, return to me with his corpse! I want his corpse! No, you're not going to get his corpse because he's a rat girl and he could be any rat girl. Any rat girl. Um, so where am I going now? Oh, is that it? Just just there? Oh, okay. I'll follow the path then. Aha, so we're here. Okay, we're at a base. So I probably could have just took a taxi here then. Uh, um, um, uh, great. Um, wait, which wait, which one is, is the one we need to go to? Um... Speak to that one. I can't. I can't really tell. I guess this one has like a flashing center, so I guess we are going this way. Um, but sometimes I really can't tell. Hello, 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 hello. You're the captain, yeah. I'm Sergeant Kluwer. Risha says hello. I hear you two are in business together. I'm going to square over with, with Republic I'm Customs. Agent Saganti is watching your every move, but I can fix that. I'm not afraid of anybody. Young Berlu, I'm going to Agent Saganti. 
The man never sleeps more than three hours a day. We should express some concern you might not be able to leave towers with what you came here for. Not unless Republic Customs lays off. I can give you temporary diplomatic immunity. Republic Customs won't be allowed to search you for your starship. Explain to me how that would be useful. The credentials will hold up again until Agent Saganti can run a full background check. That will take several days. By then, you'll be gone. The thing is, I need you to scratch my back while I scratch yours. We've got a problem with scavengers raiding our supply lines. I need you to convince scavengers to relocate. When that's done, you'll be off a public customs radar. It's a deal, yeah? Sure seems that way. The scavengers have been coming from these coordinates. They'll probably have a camp there. Make life extra unpleasant for them. When you get back, I'll have a diplomatic credentials and the supplies you came for ready to go. Have fun out there, yeah? Yeah, yeah, alright. Yeah, yeah, you keep saying that. Yeah, 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 I'll, I'll have fun out there. Yeah, yeah, alright, yeah, 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 I'll have fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, where am I going? Can't go that way. Gotta go this way. Can I go through this massive pipe? Can I go through this pipe to get away? Uh, I mean, there's, there's like an area up there. But, I mean, something tells me I'm probably not gonna be able to... Uh, no. 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 Oh, oh, oh uh, uh, maybe. Come on. Okay. Okay, we're, we're a little bit... bit we're, 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 we're... We're not getting up there, are we? We're, we're, we're not getting up there. Oh! Whoa! What is this lag? Whoa! Whoa! Do you mind? Game, game do, do you mind? Do you mind? Seriously, um, where are we going? We're going around here, but how do I get there? Like, seriously, how do I get there? Ooh, ooh, bloody hell, that level 17. Well, you go through there, thank you, and then I'll go up here, and I'll go get the caches, yeah? Yeah, yeah, sounds like a plan. But I'm going to have to attack these anyway. In 21 frames per second. How delicious! I love it so! Also, I've noticed I don't actually have this. I should probably give myself one of those and gain a little bit more experience than what I already get. Ooh, there's no one around this one because people have already been killed. Oh my god, people are already dead. Oh, well that's just handy for me, whoever did this. Thank you so much. So I need one more cache. Um, and I can find it. Um, are you, are you frozen in time? Oh, I thought people got frozen in time just by me attacking them. But I guess other people attacking them will make them go frozen in time as well, even if I'm not in the area. Well... Okay then. Oh, have I got to return? Oh, I got to return to him already. Okay. Well, that, that 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 was easy. I need one of those staples buttons. The amount of times I say that was easy. Clear well, I'm done. I handled everything just like you wanted. And Republic keep Customs think you have full diplomatic access to the planet. That'll keep the heat off you. Here are the supplies Bell Thorne needs delivered. Take them to the camp at these coordinates. They're for an engineer named Ovold. Good luck out there, Captain. Try not to get dead. Try not to get dead. That should be my catchphrase. Howlo! Try not to get dead. That is just that is the crappiest line I've ever heard. Are we going this way now? How far do we need to go? Do is it quick enough to? Yeah. Could I? Well, here's the most important thing. Can I take a taxi there? Let's find out. Taxi, taxi, who's got the taxi? Um, it's there. I'm gonna say, sort of. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll see what result we get. Um, I get the feeling the taxi tone is gonna end like here. So I'm gonna put my mouse here on this hexagon and we're gonna see how right we are. I say we are, you mean I am, because I'm the one that's just put the mouse there. But we'll see how right I am. Well, I was nowhere near, but on the plus side, I just need to go that way! Oh, you're here, in the middle of nowhere. Okay then, Ovald. Shh, hold still. A big hungry beast out there is watching us. About 800... Okay. Uh, these Bactoid X1 combat goggles show me everything. I never take them off. Have to keep up my visual scanning for the beasties. What kind of beast is out there? Not sure. Lots of carnivals here. That one ran off. But they'll be back. And I'll still be watching. I'm Ovald, core drilling engineer. Bell sent a hollow, told me... Scavengers raided the equipment store three times last week. Took some good gear with them. Didn't get my goggles, though. Who are these scavengers? Pirates, grave robbers, general scum of the galaxy. All looking to make credits off of whatever they can steal. 
The scavengers ran off with those planetary core samples you came to get Beryl for. To get for Beryl. She can't finish her contract without them. Needed to get them back. Seems to me taking more core samples would be less dangerous. They took the core driller too. Got a new one on order. But it'll be a few months. What a surprise. We're here at Scavengers are pretty well organized. Got ourselves a regular fortress. Real death trap. Beryl owes me a hefty bonus for this. She's a generous lady. I'm sure you'll make out fine. Make out, eh? You're looking for a cargo pod marked Taris core samples. It should be easy to pick up from everything else the scavengers stole. Speaking of which, I'll pay extra for snatching the rest of my stolen gear. Need to finish my work. Good luck out there. Alright. We'll, we'll, we'll do that next time, yeah? Yeah, I'll go get your stolen gear. Um, let's look at the toxic waste as we finish this episode. Who wants to go for a swim in that? And become Superman! So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and I shall see you next time. Any farewell from a loud room to you.